Alrighty, let me show y'all something. Is the evidence of a drug. Well, more like an alcohol addict. Or a Coca-Cola addict, I guess. Before anyone says that, you know, these are mine, I want to show y'all a secondary thing. I do have legs, and I can theor letter fuck. I can theoretically, if I could say that correctly, theoretically, buy coke from the nearest store. But I'm not a coke fan. I'm a Dr. Pepper's fan. I like my doctor, 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 and I like my root inside of a beer. This, on the other hand, is putrid fucking motor oil. And that's why I think about your goddamn Cokes. Sad thing is, is that it, my father drinks Coke with this. I like the idea of one day drinking whiskey, but I've been so goddamn exposed to it, it pisses me off. Like, why? I know this ain't whiskey, this is Bud Light, whatever you want to fucking call it. God damn. And he wonders, I mean, I'm amazed that he's not diabetic. But if you see this amount of alcohol bottles laying around someone's home, they have a fucking problem. If you hear people speaking like me, they're not idiots because, you know, they're mispronouncing their grammar, you know. God fucking damn. And here's the problem with my father. Okay? It, he does not care, and I'll answer that in a minute, but still, he does not care. For Christ's sake, he does not care whether or not, if he buys $100 worth and goddamn product, in related to fucking alcohol. Like, Jesus Christ, who needs this much coke? And the problem is, I had to pour all of this goddamn coke down the fucking drain. Like, they're all half bottles, one third of the way full, one fourth bottles. They weren't empty. That's why the lids are unscrewed. Waste of coke. Like, if you go and buy Coke, drink it until it's empty, even if it's flat. If you're going to drink it with whiskey, if you're going to drink it with whiskey, why? Whiskey is delicious by itself, I bet. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't even know if that's whiskey or not. That's how uneducated I am in regards to alcohol. That proves that I... Not no damn alcoholic. But I've been around... This is my mother's drink. She likes her fucking... <sighs> but yes. If this environment should explain why I'm the way I am. Should explain it. But no one cares that I'm the way that I am. Because I am constantly living here. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Am I 
imagine, you know, being raised for basically 20 odd years in this hellhole. While at the same time having parents that can care less on whether or not if you succeed and move out. I don't want to live here. I don't like living here. I don't like the condition that it's in. And people would be like, oh, why not do something about it? How can I do something if the day after is the same goddamn mess as you once did? Like you have not even cleaned. You think I'm not tired of looking and stepping and damn dog shit? I want to walk on this floor without getting five fucking layers of dog crap on my feet. Five. You can't walk five feet without being ate up with fleas. You can't walk, you know, five feet without stepping in shit. And the problem is, is that I would be arrested, even though, like, arrested and thrown in jail for animal abuse, da da da, and mismanagement of this goddamn house, along with my parents. Even though, you know, like ten years ago, my parents would be the only people going to jail. And I would be going to a foster home or something. But no. Because I was a child back then, there's no excuse the reason why the house is the way it is, I guess. God damn. Would you find it easy to try and clean this place? You know, after 12 months destroyed it? Knowing that within a day or two time, that it'll just get, you know, the same way. Don't live like this. Don't get 12 dogs. It's bad enough that you have three. Don't leave fucking food out. 